Google recently released a very small language model called Gemma 2B. It only has 2.6 billion parameters. You can probably run it on an older CPU or a very basic CPU, which is what I'm going to test today. Here's some information I found about it. Even though it only has 2.5 billion parameters, it was trained on a 2 trillion token data set, and it scores on the LM Sys Chatbot Arena benchmark tests close to GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is crazy. If you look at Google's page about it, it scores really close to other open source AI models models that have a lot more parameters. So it's really exciting and I really want to test this one. On Hugging Face, it has 443,000 downloads in the last month. I'm going to run the Olama version on an older laptop. I'm testing this on an older laptop that I use sometimes. It has an i7, but it's only a fourth generation and at 1.80 gigahertz, but with a turbo boost to 2.40 gigahertz and 8 gigs of RAM. So it's still relatively basic. On the first question, which is how long is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun and how long would it take to get there going 13,000 miles an hour, basically got the number of hours correct doing division, which is good, and it gave additional context in terms of the physics of going there, which I like. And that's actually really powerful for a small model because bigger models have gotten that one wrong before. This one kind of goes a little bit slow on the CPU, so you have to be a little bit patient. And the other thing is I could hear my fan really spinning up because this is using a good amount of CPU and it gave off a lot of heat as the byproduct. Now, a lot of AIs get this one wrong and will say that 9.11 is bigger than 9.9, .9, but this one actually got it right. Now the serial and parallel question. It takes 25 days for a man to grow a beard. Three men grew beards. How long did it take for them to grow beards? And you can see it's kind of struggling and blinking and doing its little thing with the cursor there and it's really trying to think its way through the problem and it's really stressing out the CPU. I mean, it didn't overheat, but the fan was really going. After a good couple of minutes, it gave the answer finally, and it looks like it was assuming parallel and that all the men would grow beards at the same time. But it also said it depends on their individual growth patterns, so there it goes giving some logical additional context. Now the door guarding question. You're facing two doors guarded by two guards, one of whom always tells the truth and the other always lies. One door leads to certain danger while the other leads to safety. You can ask one guard one question to determine which door to choose. What question should you ask? This is correct. Ask one guard what the other one would say. So far, this is spot on. This is really on point. Finally, write an addition and subtraction calculator in Python. All right, let's test this code out. Enter first number, five. Enter second number, five. Enter arithmetic operation, plus 10. And it finished. It did not loop, so we have to start it again. Enter first number, five. Enter second number, five. Enter arithmetic operation, minus zero. All right, so it works. Because this is a Google AI, it was made with Shield Gemma, a suite of safety content classifier models built upon Gemma 2 to filter the input and outputs of AI models. But I'm going to see if I can break it. Okay, so I did it. I played around with some prompting, and I came up with a jailbreak. And it gave me the instructions. A model this small that's this accurate and precise shows that there's going to be a pathway towards edge computing with AI. You can chat with AIs that are in data centers like ChatGPT and others that use big amounts of compute on massive farms of GPUs. You can also run AIs on your home GPU, but you're also gonna want AIs to run on a CPU that are very small because you have to divide up all the compute across data centers, home GPUs, and home CPUs. You can't just put all the stress on data centers. What you're going to see more of as time goes on is AI chat models that are local on laptops and computers. If you're into prompting and you want to try jailbreaking this, I'm looking for jailbreaks that are a little more elegant and shorter than what I did because I think that the one I did was kind of long and filled up the context window. So if you want to post in the comments what you come up with, it's appreciated. Thank you. Well, thanks for hanging out and watching all the way to the end. I take time out of my business and out of my day to make these videos for you. So if you feel you've received value from this and it's within your means, please click the thanks button and tip me in proportion to the value you feel you've received. It's not expected, but I appreciate it because it helps to keep the channel going. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see more videos about testing cutting edge LLMs as they come out, please subscribe. If you want to be notified when I make a new video, hit the notification bell and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.